Today, the first ever NASA spacecraft equipped to take a sample from an asteroid is preparing to lift off from Florida's Cape Canaveral, the mission to collect dust and gravel that will help scientists better understand the movement of asteroids and which ones threaten to slam into Earth. It is a fascinating fascinating say, mission. NASA says this historic mission could also unlock answers about the Earth's origins and whether life could have started elsewhere in our solar system. So joining us now live from Cape Canaveral, Florida, NASA chief scientist Dr. Ellen Stofan. Good morning, Dr. Stofan. Thanks for being with us. My first question is how in the world do you plan to get some sort of spacecraft on an asteroid? Is it as simple as the movie Armageddon? You know, it's not that simple. And in fact, I, when I go out and talk to school kids around the country, I always say, you know what it takes to get humans up to the space station or a spacecraft to rendezvous with an asteroid? It takes a lot of math. It takes a ton of math to figure out. We have to launch from the Earth, which we're going to do a little after about 7 o'clock uh, tonight, East Coast time. It takes us two years to chase down the asteroid. This is a model of the asteroid. It's called Bennu. Uh, and then we'll go into orbit around Bennu. And eventually, after about another two years, we're actually going to use an 11-foot arm to touch down and grab a sample off that asteroid, which we're going to bring back to Earth. Now, as I understand it, uh, this asteroid, you believe, is about 4.5 billion years old. What sort of secrets or can you unlock from getting some dust or uh, dirt from this asteroid? You know, asteroids and comets are, they're all about 4.5, 4.6 billion years old. This is the material that was left over when the Earth and all the other planets formed. So they tell us about us. They're the building blocks that this planet was made of. Now, all that material here on Earth has been processed and processed, melted, eroded. And so we don't know what the pristine material is that formed this planet. So by bringing a sample back, especially from the type of asteroid that Bennu is, we're going to learn a lot, we think, about where the water here on Earth came from. And we also know from studying meteorites that we've actually found the letters that make up our DNA, different kinds of organic compounds that make up us. We've actually seen those in meteorites that are the same type as this asteroid Bennu. So we're hoping to learn more about the origins of life itself. I am just terribly fascinated by this entire mission. And we understand that once it's over, it will have a tie to Utah, that this, this spacecraft, will it return back to Utah? Is that right? That's right. We'll uh, leave the asteroid in 2021. It'll take about two years for that sample to get back to the Earth. We'll arrive in late September of 2023, and we will land right there in the Utah Test and Training Range. Well, Dr. Stofan, we certainly wish you and NASA the best of luck in uh, this incredible project. And I'm sure if Bruce Willis could come along, he would as well, of course. <laughs> Harken back amazing, to the days of Armageddon. Wow, we will be watching tonight. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much.